Good morning everyone, Simon DeRosa from Exceptional Learners and uh, EB. Looking down on me, making sure I'm doing the right thing. So we're, we're going right through October for ADHD Awareness Month. And the theme for this month is uh, questions and reliable answers. So uh, this month I'm answering kids' questions in a kid kind of way, I hope. <laughs> Although sometimes I get a little bit distracted. Now, today's question is all about am I an ADHD or a person with ADHD? Or a bear, perhaps. You're a person first, EB. First and foremost, in, in, in any disability uh, classification that people might use or, or doctors might use or society might use to try and put a label on you so for the systemic reasons, their organisational reasons, you are a person first. So you can be a person with ADHD or an ADHD. -er. I, I kind of like ADHD -er because it personalises it. It keeps it real. Now, the thing is, language is always changing and always evolving. And perhaps some of the terms our parents or grandparents used to describe the situation uh, are different. And perhaps we kind of hear them now and go, oh, I'm really not too sure about that. And do you know what? The terms that we're using today, they... <laughs> Our grandchildren may not like them either. They might think, oh, geez, that's a bit ordinary. That's because language is always changing and evolving. I did this the other day when I talked about spawn uh, and uh, coming back to life, which is something, you know, kids use in games, etc. But it's not something that grandparents use all the time, so it needs some explanation. The point is that uh, words uh, and language change. At the moment, though, we are saying you're a person with ADHD, although I think an ADHD -er is, uh, is okay because it personalises it. Now, having said that, EB, uh, I work with a lot of people. Uh, um, people have autism. I, I call them uh, autistic people. However, th there, are p there was a group of people we used to call Aspies, and uh, now... It's what that that whole language around that is is changing. So it's really important to speak to that person and ask them how they like to be referred to, and use their terms. I know a few of my clients uh, like to be called Aspies, so that's what I use, and I think that's respectful. And, and don't be afraid to ask. I think people realise we're on a, a learning journey, and it's an opportunity to understand. So. Um, ask and, and be respectful. There are terms that what used to be used once. We don't need to go into those now. Just know that we put the person first. And we're talking about not limiting people as well, uh, just because of, w of what they, they may have or, or what they uh, have been labelled as for, for um, the purpose of society or medication. So, an ADHD, <laughs> and there's a few of us too. I hope that's cleared things up and not made more, made it more confusing. Anyway, keep on sending in your questions. I love the opportunity to answer them. Thanks, cheers, and uh, see you again soon. Bye.